Good morning. Shannon with Pick and Boot Vintage. Um, I'm not going to go on camera today because about 30 minutes ago I hit uh, my face and I have a split lip and a big fat lip between my nose and almost knocking on my teeth. So it's a little painful right now. But um, I still want to come on and show you uh, what we're going to work on today. This is Technique Tuesday and here in front of me is a shelf not a shelf, a step stool. <laughs> I'm sorry, forgive me. I'm a little bit off my game right now because I am um, still in a little bit of pain and my teeth hurt. But anyway, here is a new product that Dixie Bell has out. I'm not sure if you've seen them yet. They have a new division called Bells and Whistles. And part of that line includes silk screen stencils. And this one happens to be the mosaic one. So um, let me show you what they're about. If you ever ever watched me use a Maker Studio stencils, they are very similar. So in a package, you'll get three stencils. And then you'll also get the little spreader to spread the paint. So in front of me, I have this step stool and I like the brown, So, but I wanna jazz it up just a little bit. So I thought these stencils would be perfect for that. The hardest part is picking because they're so cute. Uh, they do have, I think there's seven different stencil packs and each one has three different ones. So the nice thing about these is you can cut apart the one you want to use and put the rest aside and they are self-adhesive. So you pull it off and then you stick it on wherever you want. And you give it a nice rub to make sure that it is on good. And the color that I thought that would look best with this project on the brown is the Dixie Bell Buttercream. I love this color. So I have my paint on a plate. Here's my spreader. And I'm simply going to dip into the paint and then spread it over like this. The spreader, I think, is a little too wide, so the nice thing about the spreader is you can cut it to whatever width you want. So I'm going to cut it down. Next, I'm just going to dip into some paint, and I am going to, up with some pressure, making sure I get it through the stencil. Oh, boy, I just dropped some. And a little trick that you can do with these, if, if you know the Dixie Bell paint, you know that it is already thick. But if it's not thick enough for your stencil, you want it to be a little thicker, just leave it out for a while, let it sit. And the Dixie Bell paint will just get thicker and then you can use it. Okay, so before I pull up my stencil, I want to clean up my area. I accidentally dripped some paint on there. So I just want to get that off real quick. And I got some of the stencil. Now the nice thing about these stencils is they are reusable. So after I pull this up, I should submerge it right into water. Now look at that. How beautiful is that? And fun. I got a little bit, oops, I don't want to be in the camera. A little bit here. I just simply got to wipe that off. Now, I love this design, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it over here, too. So I'm going to strategically place that right here. Um, I'm going to push down the edges, make sure I get some good adhesion. I'm being very careful because I don't want the paint to, to smudge out there. So I'm just making sure my stencil is... I'm just rubbing it on without any new paint. I'm just making sure my stencil is sticking. And I'm gonna get some paint on here so you can see. I'm not using very much. A little goes a long way with these stencils. And I'm just going to drag it through. Making sure I get a little bit of the buttercream through my entire stencil here. Like I said, a little does go a long way.
Make sure I get this last corner over here. The second time you use the stencil, sometimes it's a little bit harder to see if you've covered every area because it already has the paint on there. So I'm just double checking and being careful. All right, set this down. Now let's take a peek. Nice. So I do have a smudge right here. I'm just gonna wipe that up with my finger. And here we go. That is the bench, or the bench, the step stool so far. However, I want to add a few more designs on here. This stencil pack has quite a bit to choose from. So next, I think I'm going to change it up a little bit and put this one down here. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut this off. Oh, I do really like that one too. Hmm. I don't know. Now, when you're cutting these, if you cut too close to the edge and you're worried about getting paint off the side, you can just take some painter's tape and run it along the edge to make sure you don't get any of the paint off the stencil while you are running the paint through it. So I'm gonna just put one here. So I'm going to give it a good rub down, make sure that it's adhered. Use my same spreader. And I'm just going to run the Dixie Belle paint through the stencil. Being a little bit more careful around the edges because like, see what I did right there? I went off the stencil again. Oops. You can take some painter's tape and tape the edges if you want. If you're worried about coming off your stencil, kind of like I just did. But. <clears throat> A little bit more paint. So I'm going to do this lefty. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't lean over in front of the camera to block the view. Okay, now I just need to check and make sure I don't have any open spaces that I missed in the stencil and making sure it has an even layer. You don't want the paint to be too thick in some areas and not the same thickness in other areas. Okay, so let's take a peek at that. Let's pull it up. Woo! Fun! I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to do one like it's coming off of the bench. Get some more paint. Making sure I cover every area that I just did. Like I said, it's kind of hard to see sometimes when you're doing the second coat because there's already a coat of paint on there. All right, let's pull that up and see how that looks. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so I'm going to do another one over here. Just a half one again. There's no rhyme or reason how I'm putting this dents on. It's more just to show you all what you can do with these awesome new bells and whistles stencils. They are super easy to use and you can get more than one use out of it if you take care of them. Again, when you're finished, simply run it under some water and maybe a little bit of soap. Okay, make sure it's evenly distributed. Pull this off. Ooh, I love it. All right, so maybe 
that one, they kind of look like snowflakes. Uh, not really the look I'm going for, but that's okay. I'm gonna put one more on the top and then we're going to be done. I'm gonna off center it just a little bit right here. Oops, got a little bit on there for my fingers. Press this down. And as long as the paint is still wet, it's really easy to clean up. You just use a little bit of water and it'll come right off. So for my last one, getting some more paint on my spreader. And I'm just going to run it lightly over. I shouldn't say lightly because you want to make sure you give enough pressure that you're pushing the paint through the stencil. But with this type of stencil, it's really hard to mess up. Okay, making sure I get complete coverage. This is on my top step, so I want to make sure that this one looks good. Now, if I happen to make a mistake when I'm doing this and I pull it up and I just don't like it, two things. One, you can simply wash it off with some water real quick while it's still wet. Or two, give it a light distress and make it look like it's supposed to be kind of wore off. There's always a trick to fix. Ta-da! All right. I am loving these new stencils. They are a lot of fun. Um, they can't get any easier. We have these in the store. We have all seven different patterns. And um, we will be open Wednesday and Thursday, closed on New Year's Day. All right, everyone, I'm signing off. I'm gonna go put some more ice on my face. Anyway, thank you for joining me today and have a great New Year's.